hey, thank you so much for watching. Um, here's my mid-year update for our homeschool. I was going to do all the subjects together, but I've decided just to split them out, um, especially with because we're about to talk about math and I, it's a lot <laughs> to talk about. So I just wanted to give you a heads up and thanks for watching. I hope this video encourages you. Okay, let's talk about math. I'll give you a quick backstory about our math. I have a kid that's in seventh grade level math. Um, she's in sixth grade and then my son is in algebra two. So this is our fourth year homeschooling. Our first year, we used Saxon for both of them. Second year, um, we switched to teaching textbooks, and it was a lot less, you know, parent in, in parent um, intensive. And then the, our third year last year, we used CTC math, and then this year we switched back to teaching textbooks. Um, so this would be our second year using teaching textbooks. We use the online um, now, which is now an app that they just launched, and um, our year started out good. Um, my daughter was doing level seven, like I said, and my son was doing algebra two, which of course he uh, doesn't love. Who I don't think anybody really loves that level of math. Maybe some people do, but he's good in math and strong in math, and um, so I feel like. I have like, it's not my favorite, well I don't like math period, but I feel like their level, Algebra 2 leaves some stuff to be desired even if it did work like it's supposed to, but um, we've continued on with it and when they launched the app, oh man, it's been awful. I don't know how many of you are using it. If you are using it, I'm so sorry because since they released the update, the new update, the 4.0 version, has just been, for us, horrible. Um, doesn't work, it's glitchy, logs you out, doesn't save your work that you've done. I mean, pretty much anything you could imagine that would go bad, um, it has for us, um, at least for that level seven. So that was like, they basically, the way they released the new updates was they started with the lower levels and then they're slowly working their way up to the higher level maths. Um, so by the time they said, hey, we have Le Algebra 2 available, I was like, no thank you, I'm not updating. Um, but unfortunately, if you're gonna continue to use their math, you will have to update if you're using the online program. And so they were um, kind enough to send me the old USB version. I thought I brought it in here. Uh, I don't know what I did with it for my son to use so he's able to continue on with it but using like their old version and I'm thankful for that because hopefully we can just get through algebra 2 without any major problems but with the level 7 um, they did not offer a USB maybe you can get one I don't know but I was so over it that I literally just completely switched my daughter's math curriculum in the middle of the year, which I've never done before. So, um, not at all happy with the way they rolled out their program. Has anybody else had problems? I know people have because I've seen it all over like Facebook and stuff. It's, I feel like we just need to take a minute if you're using teaching textbooks to be like, what in the world? They had years to prepare for this. They knew that this, the flash was not going to be supported anymore. And I feel like they rolled out an app that wasn't ready, had lots of problems. And I think for some people, if depending on what kind of device you're using, you actually still can't even use it. So boo, but I'm going to stop complaining and show you what we are using, which for my daughter um, is Math Lessons for Living Education. Um, and since teaching textbooks, to, in my opinion, for the lower levels, like the algebra and under, I do think it runs like a little, not behind, but a level, like my daughter was doing level seven in teaching textbooks. Um, she's in sixth grade this year. When I switched her to this, it was level six is, is right where the level seven teaching textbooks was. So what I did was I literally just looked through the whole thing, figured out about where she was, and we're just starting in the middle of it. And I have to say, 
but I really like it. Um, if you're looking for a simple kind of, um, e not easy, but simple um, math to get through, do the basics, um, I think this is great. It's not problem after problem after problem. Like I'll just show you, this is um, exercise Let's see, day 91. We started around day 75. Um, that was about where we were mid-year in the book. So, But it's like comparing decimals. I'll just try to give you a quick like look through. So this would be one day, a lesson, and then the back with problems. I hope you can see. So that would be one day. And this actually has a little mark on this one. There's there's that, and yeah, so there's three pages for that. But most of the days you having like a front and a back, usually about two pages. And what I'll do with my girl is just circle, like try to give her a good representation of problems. We do not do all the problems. So we'll circle like odds and evens, or maybe like, you know, here or there, and just to make sure she gets enough, because my kids can get really, um, over it quick so I just really want to make sure that they um, get it but I like this one is a mastery approach so it's gonna be more focused on mastering a concept it does have mixed review but most of the questions are going to be on the new information and then there will be a little spiral view at the end just a couple of problems instead of that's one thing I will say about teaching textbooks I feel like um, it's a lot of spiral in it um, especially the upper level math, which I understand why to an extent, but I feel like they might be more, like they're maybe not mastering and more reviewing. So I'm really liking this. Um, I think we'll continue with the next level, which is switches to a different, um, it's not called this once you get to level seven, but I think this is what we're going to do um, for next year, like the next level up. So really happy with it especially after um that awful experience with teaching textbooks so sad but don't want to talk bad about you know companies but i will always give you my honest opinion and i i wouldn't recommend them anymore but i am really loving this and think it's really great so i wanted to share that with you guys so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are interested in like a more detailed flip through of the math lessons for a living education level six, let me know. Um, I'm sure that there are a million of these floating out there on YouTube to watch. Um, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but if you want one, please let me know. And then this is the teacher's guide that it comes with. I'll show you really quick that. And it just has like all the answer key in it. And it also gives you like the quizzes are in here. I'll show you. And the daily like lesson plans where it tells you how to assign. That is one nice thing about Masterbooks, which I don't love like all of their products. That's just our person, that's just for my family. But I really do like how they do give you like the day all the daily assignments it really does make like lesson planning really easy so again highly do highly recommend this and then I wanted to show you guys the um, the teaching textbooks USB that they sent me I'm sorry my chair makes tons of noise it's really old but um so this is what I was able to get from them and um, yeah this is the 2.0 version so the new version like I said it's an app you have to download it on your laptop but I did want to show y'all that that we I'm like we can't lose this because we have to keep it um, and it is old and dated but it does work so if you are still using teaching textbooks and it's not working for you the new app I just wanted to give you guys a heads up email them ask them to send you this um, this little guy because if we didn't have this we wouldn't be using it for algebra 2 either I don't think um, so I'm so sorry if you're dealing with that I'm praying for you <laughs> but have a great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video